Okay, hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments. And in this video, I want to talk about getting the first and last days of the month. Okay, and everybody's like, Victor, that's very basic. Yes, I'll show you the basic formulas and I'll show you how to introduce array literals, you know, to add a little spice to it. Okay, so let's get into it. So to get the first day of the month, there are many ways, you know, people do that. But the easiest that I have seen is just to find the last day of the previous month because we already have functions that help us do that. The last day of the previous month, if you add one to it, is going to give you the first day of this month. It's that simple. If I'm in September 2023, which is where I am right now, you know, the last day of the previous month is 31st of August. Once I add one to that, I come to 1st of September. So it's that simple. So basically, I just do EO month, which is end of month. So I select my reference date, which is this. Now I'm going backwards because I'm going to the previous month. So I use a negative index there. So I use minus one. Okay. So now this is going to give me the last day of the previous month. As you can see, 30th of June is the last day if you are in the month of June. And then you just add one to this. And now you know you are where you should be, which is the first day of the month based on you know this reference. For the last day of that month, it's very simple because you are in the current month. So you just use an EO month, okay? And then you select your reference date. Now, in terms of the offset, this is if you are moving by one month to the front, one month behind. But because you are not moving, you are in the current month, the same month, you just use a zero here, okay? So zero will give you that. So this is the last day of the month. And you can see that that makes sense. If you change this to maybe say 15th of October, 2022, you see that, yeah, this is 1st of October and this is 31st of October. And it would work even if you had, you know, 30 days, like maybe a September month or something like that. Okay, so that's fine. So now let's come down here and let's say we want to get, you know, both first and last, meaning I want to get, you know, the first and last days with just one formula, taking advantage of the fact that formulas spill. So what would I do? Because I've already done this here and here, you know, I've seen both formulas. Somebody could say, you know, use an H stack. It's like if I do an H stack of this, let's say, and this, which is horizontally stacking them together, it will give me my answer. And if I didn't want to reference those cells, you know, it means I will have to put those two formulas here. So instead of C5, I copy this EO mod formula, put it there. Instead of C7, I copy this and put it in there. But for me, it feels like I'm doing two things, right? And I'm looking at both of them and I see that I could actually do it in one formula because there is a similarity and that's the reason why I've put the formulas here between the two of them. And this is where I will use, you know, my array literals. So this is what I'm going to do. Just look at the two formulas and I'm going to write it, you know, as one. So I'm going to start with an EO month. Okay. And then you can see that my reference is the same if you're looking at both formulas, this and this. Now, when it comes to the months that you want to offset by, you can see that for the first day, you use minus one. For the last day, you use zero. So you introduce your array literal, which is curly braces, and then you put minus one, comma, zero. Okay? So now you are doing the two of them together in one place. You close the EO month, as you can see. You do a plus. When you look at outside of the EO month, what do you have? For the first day, you have a plus one. For the last day, you know, you have nothing. So introduce your array literals again, one, comma, zero. Okay, so the first one, you can see here, minus one corresponds to first day, and one also corresponds to first day, zero, zero corresponds to last day. You do your enter here, and you can see that we have the formula now spilling. So we are using just one formula, but taking advantage of array literals, you know, to have it spill into the two. This is a good point where I'll break, you know, to ask for those who haven't subscribed to the channel, you know, to please click. You know the subscribe button it definitely will help grow the channel encourage me to also do much more videos if you also like the video please hit the like button thank you so so much back to excel okay so now next stage i want to take you to is what if i want to generate you know the first and last days of the month for more or less like a calendar year 12 months but starting with whatever month I have here as my reference, meaning that I'm going to have 1st September, 1st October, 1st November, and so on for 12. And I'm also going to have the end of the month, 30th September, you know, 31st October, and so on. So let's start with the first one, which is the first days of the month. I want to create, of course, a sequence of 12. You know, we are going to do that, right? So the sequence function comes in handy here. So what I'm going to do is pretty much follow this same pattern, right? So now I'm going to do EO month. I'm going to select my reference date. 
Now, I know that I need, you know, minus one there, right? That would be for the first. So it means the first one is minus one, the next is zero, the next is one, two, three, and so on. I can decide to put my minus one here. And there's a reason why I'm doing that. And I will do plus sequence, you know, of 12. But if you do this, you get the wrong answer. Why? Because if you do sequence of 12, it's going to start from 1. So minus 1 plus 1 will give you 0. But what you need is actually what? Minus 1 for the first month. So instead of just leaving it this way, I can have my start as what? 0. Okay? So that's all I'm going to do so that I can create that sequence of minus 1, 0, 1, and so on. Good. And now let's press enter. So you can see what do we have here. We still need a plus 1, right? Okay. So we need a plus 1. Okay, so plus one. So now, yes, we have it right. So this is 1st September, 1st October. It goes all the way for 12 months. That's the sequence we have created. So now let's look at the last month, last day rather of the month. Okay, so for this one, it's pretty much the same thing too. We kind of do an EO month. We select our reference. Now I know that I have what is zero here. So I can still use the same sequence, you know, of 12. And I'm going to start this at zero. Okay, so basically it's going to create 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 11. But there will be 12 rows where it's going to start at 0 because I know the first one needs to start with 0, right? And that's the reason why I put my minus 1 here because I know that those patterns need to be similar if I want to use the array neutrals. So I close the bracket here, okay? And you can see that this is correct. These are the last days of the months. So 28th of February and, you know, so on, okay? So now we've been able to do it, but we have two spilled arrays we have one spilled array for the first days we have another spilled array for the last days so what if we wanted to do it in one place meaning i have one formula here that spills for both the first days and the last days how do we do that it's really about pattern recognition and using array literals so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do equals to eo months just watch me okay my first you know reference here start date is still c3 now let's look at the two of them what do we see we can see that this one has a minus one. Here, technically, if there's a number here, it is going to be zero. So I will introduce my array details. I will do minus one and zero. Okay. And then I'm going to add it to sequence of 12. So basically, I'm trying to do the two in one place. Okay. So minus one will be for the first days. Zero here will be for the last day. Okay. Now, let's not forget our zero as our starting point. Now we will close the EO month, obviously. And then we'll come outside of it plus. You can see that this one has a plus one. This has nothing. So it means I can do one and zero. So one for this, zero for the last. So let's do enter here. We have a speed array. Why? Because of this array. So let's delete this. And change this, control shift hash. And what do you see? You see that with one formula now, we've been able to spill all the first days, okay? And all the last days. And just to confirm that, let's change this reference to maybe say 11th of, uh, let's do January just so that we can see things move. Okay. So let's see what we have. So we have 1st of January. So these are the first days of all the months for 12 months. And these are the last days of the months. Very neatly done using array literals. It's really about, you know, seeing the pattern. And once you see the pattern, then you can introduce the array literals. And that allows you, you know, pretty much to do things in one formula as opposed to doing it maybe with an H stack, which may be easier to execute. But, you know, Victor likes to do things in one place. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel Excel Moments. For now, I'm out.